are giving us a space to do it in. We're usually in the lobby of the public theater. We've been there for 11 years, sitting in the lobby. Um, and uh, about three years ago, maybe four years ago, HowlRound came on and offered us the ability to live stream. And so we're saying thank you now to the public theater and to HowlRound because together they are helping us create this beautiful community. Um, what we do is we work for 20 minutes together and then we, you, ans you ask me questions about your work and your creative process. That's all, it's that, it's just that simple. And if you want to ask a question, Audrey is going to tell you how to get in touch. Go, Audrey. Thanks, SLP. Um, if you want to ask a question and you are inside of the Zoom, all you need to do is click on the participant tab, likely at the bottom of your screen on a laptop or the top if you're on an iPad or a tablet. Inside of the participant tab, there's a little button that says raise your hand. Um, just give it a click. A little blue hand will appear and I'll call on you if we've got time. Um, if you're watching on HowlRound.tv, you can tweet at us at at WatchMeWorkSLP with the hashtag HowlRound, H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. Um, or you can tweet at the Public Theater's Twitter, which is at Public Theater NY, or write to the Public Theater's Instagram. And that's it. Whoops. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go.
right. On my phone. Right. Trying to think of what to turn off. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, so here we are, ready to take your questions about your work and your creative process. All right, let's do it. Melania, you are up first. Hey, Melania. Right, Hello, Susan Lori. Hey, sweetheart, how are you? Fine, fine, I'm fine. I am here. You remember that I told you about this uh, singer and puppeteer that told me about she's interested in uh, know about some of my ideas. So I am trying to structure the email that I want to send her with ideas. What is happening to me is that when I wrote the ideas that she read about and she said, okay, I would like to, to hear more from you. I was playing and I, was, I wasn't thinking about anything. And now that she said that, <laughs> something right. came to me like, oh, okay. So right. what I, yes. So what I would like to know is um, how can I approach this in a respectful way to her, so mm -hmm. not overwhelm her with, I don't want to send a kilometric, you know, email. Right. But at the same time, to honor myself and what I am feeling, and at the same time, enjoying what is happening to me, because it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity to connect with her. Right. And right. see right. what happens. You know? so right. I would like to know, what do you think about this? Um. A, a couple of things. One might not be a, a, a fun thing to hear, but I would suggest that anything you send her, you, you first put in a document and uh, either find some way to copyright it or something. Uh, you know, ideas go around and, you know, she, she, she you know, you, you never know. And you, you don't want five years down the road to be like, gee, that was my idea. And she kind of took it. Okay. without me you know I mean you know I mean I'm sure she's a wonderful person would never do that but you never know yeah. so just do that and that's a way to honor yourself you're going to value your ideas and find some way to I don't know it's just like a little sketch a, a, a sketch for a, a story or a play or I don't know what yeah. it is but just to somehow make it clear that it's your idea that you are sharing with her okay. and create a, 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 a at least a virtual paper trail Okay. Somehow, or, you know, yeah. okay. Um, yeah. um, or, or, or just slap it, make a little play out of it and then send it to the copyrights office. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know, but, but do something substantial with it before you just send it to her. Um, I think it's a great and wonderful opportunity. I think you should just, you know, take, take, take a week. I mean, also value yourself. I know you don't have to answer right away. You can spend a week or two Maybe just a week, you know, hopping around, thinking about ideas, you know, getting in that fun frame of mind again. I was talking to her about this and this and this, you know, so having a good time with it. Um, and then, um, like I said, create some of these doc actual documents um, to share with her. Make it very clear in the email that these are maybe uh, you, you could say use the, these are. Or, or treatments, or these are synopses from things that you've written. Okay. You know, these are synopses from some 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 short plays that I've written, and you know, you know, make it make it like it's something already. You know, um, remember who you are. You're someone with a lot of great ideas, and you'd be a fun person to collaborate with. You know what I mean? So instead of instead of it looking like this, you know. Where the, she's up here and you're down here, yeah. you know, oh, she's way up here and you're down here, you know, create a letter that makes it look like, even though she's awesome and famous and everything. Yeah. Don't sell yourself short. Value yourself. Okay. Yes. You Thank know, you very much. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, these are, these are some, this is a synopsis from a short play that I've written, you know, here it is. Here's another synopsis from another short play. Or here's another synopsis from another play. Don't call them short plays. Here's another synopsis from another play. And if she says, hey, send me the whole play, guess what? Keep coming to this class. We'll get you to write it. Okay. 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 All right. Does that make sense? 
that makes a lot of sense. Thank okay. you very much. Good, good, good. great question. Great question. Oh, thank you. Great answer. Thank you. <laughs> thank Thanks, Mom. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Up next, we've got Bob. You ready, Bob? There you are. I am. Hello. Hey, hey, Bob. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Okay. Hanging in there. Me too. Uh, I have a question. I've started uh, researching uh, a historical person for something. I want to basically a bio pick, bio something on this person. And he's not famous. You know, most people haven't heard of him, but he's in his world of basically sort of science in the 1870s to 1930s. He was, you know, in his little circle, kind of special and wonderful. Uh -huh. And I guess I'm, I'm sort of wondering before I really dig in too far into the biography and to researching and if you have any thoughts about how uh, and I, there are things about him I do relate to certainly I mean he lived 100 years ago but there are elements of him I'm drawn to uh -huh. um, and I'm wondering uh if you've at when, when you've written things based on people and I, I know you just wrote the Billie Holiday film and mm -hmm. how you how you researched what you looked for and how mm -hmm. you sort if you ever sort of found yourself your voice in her and if that's okay and just any thoughts you had and having just sort of really worked on someone both respectfully, but also wanting to kind of keep it personal so the fire is there as, as a writer? Uh-huh, that's a great question. That's a great question, Bob. I think uh, one of the great advantages to your project is that person is, is no longer living, uh, nor does that person probably have any, there's nobody living who remembers that person. Good, good, because you're not wrestling with that. You know, so you're just wrestling with the the historical record of this person and what you're bringing to it, which will hopefully be like this. Of course, they've got things in common with you, else you wouldn't be attracted to them. You know, you're, you're attracted to them because something in them resonates with something in you. And I would exploit that. Actually, that's the coolest thing to exploit, you know. Um, uh, and it can be anything. It might be the way he, their mind works or the way they, they have relationships or the way that they, they wear colorful clothing. I mean, whatever, I'm just making up stuff, you know? Um, but what you do is you, you find the points of intersection between, you, in, from, you know, the, from your, your life meets the life of the person that you're writing about. And you circle, you sort of focus on those points. You know, um, uh, and it's, it's, it's different from work to work, you know, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's very different from work to work. I mean, I did the, for some reason, I'm doing a lot of things about musicians now. Billie Holiday, United States versus Billie Holiday. Genius Aretha Franklin, the harder they come, the play, you know, it's like a lot of like a lot of music, musicians and stuff. Um, but um, with each piece, it's, 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 it's going to be different. And so you have to find that thing in, in them that resonates with you. And it doesn't have to be necessarily in exactly historically accurate. You know that you can, yeah. you can invent. Yeah. Yeah. i like to do, I like to do research, but again, you don't want to do too much because then you what, research for five years and then write it, you know, research. And then when you feel yourself kind of going, I'd like to try, you know, that's, that's when you're going to, you're going to take the leap, like the bird out of the nest, you know, maybe. I can see it. Yay. You know what I mean? Okay. I do. Thank you. Sounds like fun, man. Sounds like fun. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Um, all right, Laura, you are up next. Oh, Laura. Laura. Where's Laura? I'm clicking. Oh, there you go. Hello. There's hey, Laura. You? Hey, how's I the performed... stand up, Laura? How you... <laughs> I did I did it incredible la yesterday, last night. We did a virtual. But thank you so much for encouraging me. Like this whole time I've been writing that. I had a 10 day um, block mm. because I was so unhappy with the piece. You know, I write about race mm. in, okay. in my stand up. So I had something and I thought, okay, I had to meet with my advisor and it was like, oh my God. So 10 days, I couldn't even write or anything. Mm. And you guys were on break. So I was like, oh, oh shit, oh. you know. But I did it. I did something stupid yesterday. I mm. edit during the day and mm. then performed it. And it was like, oh gosh, but I, I did it. So thank
thank Fantastic. you. Just, I'm over here just saying thank you to you. So oh, thank you. I'm so, and when the video comes, I'll let you see it. Okay, okay. everybody. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased, thank Laura. You. That's really great. That's thank really you great. so much. So you thank did you. it online. You did it. You did it uh, virtual online. We. I'm in Ridgefield, Connecticut now. Okay. So the Playhouse, Ridgefield Playhouse, we usually perform on stage, uh -huh. but the the Playhouse is not doing anything. Right. So. Um, the host was at the Playhouse and all of us were in our own oh. houses. Oh, cool. And it was, it, virtual was so weird because you can't really hear the audience laughter so much, oh. you know, but, uh -huh. but it was just, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm here religiously now, you know, so thank you. Thanks. That's Thanks, it. Laura. I'm glad it's working. Thank you. Thank you. All right, up next we've got Michael. Oh, hold on, there we go. Michael, oh, there you are. Hey, Michael, oh, there you are. Hi, SLP, thank you so much for uh, doing this every day with us. Um, My pleasure. So, so I'm writing a play and the central conceit of that play is one that I have since come to learn has already been done in what is a fairly popular play, I guess, that I wasn't familiar with. Um, so I'm wondering, in your experience, is it worth continuing with it? Or am I sort of setting myself up to hear a lot of, uh, oh, we already, we already know that. That sounds just like this other play. Right. Hmm. 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 It depends on how you do it, Michael. I mean, you know, like there's a lot of plays are like a lot of plays, you know what I'm saying? Um, young man comes home to find things different from what they were like when he left, you know? Woman finally decides to leave difficult marriage. You know I, mean? I mean, there are a lot of, you know, there are a lot of plays that are like other plays. Oedipus is a lot like Hamlet in a lot of ways, and it's not, you know? Um, so I, I don't know, I would, I mean, I would say write it because the worst thing that can happen is you have a play that's already like another play. <laughs> but what you, you know, that's the, wor that's the worst thing that's gonna happen. I mean, what might happen is that you, along the way, you realize that there's something going on in this play that you didn't know before. Do, do, have you made yourself familiar now with that other play written already? No, I haven't because I didn't want it to influence what I'm doing. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. So I would say write your play, you know, and then worst thing that happens is someone goes, oh, it's just like such and such. That's fine. I mean, you will have noticed the use of my next word spent. I didn't say wasted. You will have spent, you would have spent time writing and the rule what's the rule the rule from the bhagavad gita no effort is ever wasted so those of us who write movies and teleplays and plays that never see the light of day i have many of them <laughs> i did i have not wasted time i have spent time writing which helps me improve my skill and my craft but i would i would say write it because you don't know how it's going to turn out and it might turn out differently there might be maybe an, a, another a new character is going to walk in the door in the middle of a scene and go oh my gosh you know all right okay Thank i know you, i know i know that's that's a it, it's a no, direct that's... bummer it's like man you know <laughs> well I, i'm hoping that mine is different i mean at least it's in my voice right there you go um, exactly and I, I do know as far as having looked into the other one, I know that I'm setting it in a different time period that that one is. There you go. Okay. So maybe okay. that makes it different enough. Okay. Okay. And maybe there's an, a, a character in yours that isn't in the other one. You know, does it end the same? D sorry. Does, does it, it have the same ending? I don't know that. Oh, okay. It's, that's weird. It's weird. It, that's a, that's a very tricky situation because well, why don't you write your play, right? Finish it, get to the end, and then maybe you want to go and at least check out 
this other play, at least read a synopsis online or something. If it's a famous play, then read a synopsis, you know? Okay. okay? Yeah. So you can at least like kind of know what they're talking about when they say your play's a lot like that other play. Right. You know, I mean, you know, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, SLP. You're welcome. Good question. Thanks, Michael. Um, up next, we've got Cameron. Cameron, are you there? There he is. Hey, SLP. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Cameron. Um, so I am in the third act of the feature that I'm writing. Mm -hmm. And I've come to the part where I have to do something to a character that's very dear hearted to me and that I've grown very fond of, but I know for the purpose of the story, I have to do this to this character. What's your oh. advice to getting over that? You know, not wanting to do it, but knowing that it's needed for the story. Like, like you have to like, they have to die or something. Yeah, they have to. They have to pass away. They have to pass away. Yeah. Well, you know, I was watching just yesterday. I was watching Mean Streets with Harvey Keitel and Robert De Niro. And you know, Harvey Keitel goes through the whole movie, and they tell him, "Man, you shouldn't be hanging out with." Robert De Niro, whatever his name is, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, and, and you watch that whole movie going, Harvey Keitel is gonna have to do something to Robert De Niro. Cause even though we love him, he's gonna have to do something if he wants to move up in the ranks, you know? Right. Do it, go ahead and do it, Cameron. Okay. <laughs> go ahead and do it because you know, you know this, is, this is where you make your bones. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know? And if you feel pain and sadness, that's good. That's good. It, 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 uh, hopefully the audience will feel, will have invested in the character like you have. Mm -hmm. You will have set up those, those beats so we're actually feeling things when, when that thing happens to the character. Okay. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. And, go ahead and kill your characters. No, I mean, <laughs> I'm not, yeah. Not in real life, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Cameron. Um, we actually don't have a question at the uh, moment, and I have already practiced my posture today, but oh yeah, well, <laughs> it's Audrey, pra practicing your posture is not a once a day kind of thing. <laughs> then I mean, it's like I practiced it already. Well, then, then, <laughs> then don't, Audrey, just slump over like that. And when you're a hundred today, well, I'll tell you, so today, the 23rd of July, 2020 is my aunt Frida's 100th birthday. She is 100 years old. We are going to Zoom call her. We have Zoom called her. We've sent her 100 birthday cards and lots of flowers. And she's in Chicago and we we're going to throw her a big party, but we can't, of course. So we're just, we've been calling her all day and all that stuff. Um, but, you know, practice your posture because when you're 100, Audrey, you're going to need it. Yeah, you're right. I will pack it. Okay. Like, it also helps. And happy birthday to your aunt. Yeah. Happy yeah, that, birthday to Frida. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. That too. Um, and we have some questions. There you go. See, mapping <laughs> always works. <laughs> Lynn, we're going to go to you. Uh, Where is Lynn? There I am. Oh, there you go. Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Hi. First hey. of all, thank you. Uh, I. I don't know whether you'll remember, but I went to Staples and I got all those uh, folders and I'm full of folders. They're really nice, different colors. Yeah, they're, they're nice, aren't they? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and I also um, have found that uh, I write every day for an hour now, you know, whatever. Awesome, right. Uh, because I want to be a better writer. And I found that I started writing you know, I'm working on this play, but I started writer writing um, in um, stories, you know, in prose mm -hmm. about each of the different characters, their story, their journey through life until this point. And um, it's kind of, I've, I've never felt so uh, as if I disappear, you know? And the writing takes over uh -huh. their story. You know. So I guess my question is, it has, it's kind of, I wanted to thank you because I love you. But um, I always uh, meditate before I write. Because mm -hmm. I, I like to be 
not writing. Do you understand? I don't want to be the writer. I want to just do it. Does that make any sense? Is this really weird? I'm letting you ask your question. I'm just trying to be quiet over here. Well, is this, you know, I might have an idea or, you know, something I want to write about, but after I meditate, something else comes out. So my question is, uh, should I focus on what my intention of writing, or what I want to write, or to just let it go with what comes up uh, when I meditate? Hmm. You always ask the most interesting questions, Lynn. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> it it depend. It for me, it, it would depend on what the goal is. Do you know what I mean? So. If you have a goal of, you know, you have your play or whatever, and you want to finish it by, you know, the 1st of August, and every time you meditate, you find yourself continually getting off track. Um, I would suggest, you know, think either rethink your goal, you know, maybe you really don't want to finish your play or can't finish it right now, you know? Um, and if you're drawn to things that aren't sort of on your to-do list, I would say generally that's fine. It's just if you continually month after month find yourself not making the goals that you set for yourself, feeling yucky about that, you know, you know, one might feel down that one can't seem to finish anything, not you necessarily, but anybody, any yeah. of us. I would say uh, stick to your goal because that then is the practice. You know what I mean? Yeah. In meditation, what the kind of meditation I do anyway, when the mind wanders, you bring it back. Yeah, my mind so. doesn't actually wander in the sense, but when I get up, uh, uh, it's a different, I, I can't explain it, you know, uh, it's just, I start writing and it's not necessarily, I mean, I finish stories, which is a great thing. Maybe my uh -huh. intention is just to finish, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. rather than to write a play and finish. Maybe, maybe my intention is just to finish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or just to show up, be able to, you know, center yourself enough so that you show up at your writing practice every day. Yes, yes. And that's, and that's okay. So it doesn't matter, in a way it wouldn't matter what you write. It's that your, your intention is, your goal, if you will, is to show up every day at your writing practice and to do your, your beautiful practice. I you know, think so my goal okay. is to be a better writer. I think that's my goal. Okay, well, well, it, I would say, you know, uh, be mindful because part of being a better writer is to be able to say, or part of being, let's say, part of being a pro, not necessarily money, but, but a pro, is part of it is saying, I have a task to do and I'm going to do it. Uh, and I'm not going to let myself get sidetracked. Great. Because it's hard. It's yeah. you, you meet that point, you know, you're climbing the mountain and suddenly it's a little hard. And gee, uh, you know, running through the periwinkle over there might be a lot more fun. But but if, if you're really going to do it, you got to keep walking. And that's, you know, that's that's uh, something to consider also. So I want you to enjoy your practice, but I also want you to if you want to improve, if you want to improve, you're going to have to increase the incline a little bit. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so and with 20 minutes and now I'm up to an hour, which there is go. Great. there you go. Uh, exactly, exactly. So there you got an hour every day. Yeah. It might be your finishing projects. That's awesome. And um so, so far so good sounds to me. So sounds like you're on the road. Thank you, my dear. Thanks. Thanks, Always Lynn. Questions, Lynn. Thank you. Um, all right, we've got about 12 minutes and we're going to go to Carla. Unmute. Say hi, everyone. Hi, SLP. Hi, Audrey. How are you feeling, Carla? I'm, I'm good. Thankfully, I, I don't know if I should have used I had a mass in one of my organs, so it was, it was, they were able to take it out and save my organs. Everything went well. And so I'm good now. I don't, I'm not even on pain medication. So I'm so happy for so you. So much better. <laughs> so happy for you. We're so happy for you. Yeah. So I'm doing All right. good. All right. Yeah. That's great. 
and I'm 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 moving, so I'm still like there's a lot going on. I'm gonna have boxes next to me and stuff, oh, but I am still trying to inch along in terms of writing. So I'm only doing 20 minutes either before this or a little bit after. But um, I'm finding myself even in those 20 minutes. I love it. I only get like an um, I really like my one page, but sometimes I find myself trying to edit other stuff. I'm writing a novel and so I'm finding like oh, I should edit that before I write this and I keep jump kind of jumping back and forth and a part of me is like no I should finish the whole story just so then I can go back in and kind of put it all together but I'm like I don't know if I should follow that instinct to kind of edit when I'm just trying to inch along and I go crazy about it or like just full-on try and write it um I've I've outline like 12 chapters but I'm not completely done with it so I'm like ah it's like I guess it's in the middle of that mesh process yeah great oh. question would it would it help Carla to so you're so everything you're talking about right now has to do with one project correct right yes okay 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 I just wanted to make sure just the one okay so it's not a couple of projects <laughs> yeah. just switching back and forth so would it help to finish outlining or doing a beat sheet of the novel would that help at all just so you know where you're think, going you have the confidence that you know where you're going I I think in my I, I first did the first 10 chapters just because I, I had a goal I was like I'll do 10 chapters just a first draft and then I'll leave it but then I edited it the last chapter I think and then now I have like a new outline from mm -hmm. like 10 to 12 Mm -hmm. um just because I think last time I talked about I was thinking about my character and I couldn't figure her out so I was like let me focus on the plot and I will mm -hmm. hopefully then figure everything else out but um I just don't want to do that again because I feel like then I'll just keep editing my own outline and then I won't <laughs> do the yeah. actual thing I'm like no 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 I don't want to it's like the one step forward one step back I want to keep going through it yeah. Right. So would it help to just finish the outline of the project? Like, I think that to the end of the outline. Yeah, I, I, I think it might, I might, I'm just, I, I guess I have to like be very mindful with myself that I won't edit it. Or then if I do, I, I should like really think about it. I don't know. Well, the yeah. thing is, if you do a beat sheet or an outline, right mm. from chap you know and they, these are these are very small you know snippets of photographs of the chapters not an elaborate you know thing just this is what happens in chapter one this is what happens in chapter two this is what happens in chapter three with this character this character and this character then this character this, right you know, like that it's it's, very, it's a beat sheet just the beats just the beats right if mm -hmm. you do this all the way through um, mm. this happens to me all the time then I'm following uh, not on paper anymore but I'm following the outline as I'm writing Right. And then I come to an idea and I'm like, oh, no, no, I want to do something different with that. And I just write. Mm. Okay. And you just, just keep going. Okay. okay, great. Oh, no, the, no, she's actually going to buy a green dress because green is the color of, you know, the grass. And that makes you remember France. And great. Okay, not, it's not about Spain. It's about France. You just, just keep okay. It doesn't have to be a okay. big deal. But I think you do need to get, finish your outline. Right, that, yeah. That could sort of bring a certain calm yeah I have them I have them in here so I have all the chapters on these but like so I like keep looking at them so they're in front of me and try to like okay make sure I stick to it so you have all I'm sorry I keep asking the same question because it's not clear you have all the chapters outlined then no not all of them no okay yeah so what I'm suggesting Some. is continue continue what you're doing yeah with uh the chapters right get to the end of your outline and then write forward and know that if you have to change your outline it's okay but just keep moving forward it, you know you see what i'm saying keep writing okay. yeah 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 outside, don't you? i know i'm so sorry it's okay it's so funny it's like, ah. okay. washington heights okay. washington yeah. heights yeah, yeah yeah but i yeah that makes sense i guess it's just in my brain i'm not separating the two i'm not separating the outline from the act of me sitting down and writing the the thing so i have outlining, to like outlining is part of writing the thing yeah like dating is part of a relationship <laughs> yes 
Okay. That's true. That's true. Right. So you got a date. You got to go a few more dates, and then you're no. You just you just have a roadmap. That's all. Yeah. I just got to take this out. That ice cream truck in my ears is is. It's yeah. a lot. Sorry, I muted you, Carla, for an hour. Great. But okay. Does that make sense? Outline and see if that helps. It's outlining is part of writing, and then go into the go back into the writing phase with confidence it'll give you confidence and, and it'll calm your mind down okay because you will have, you'll have a map okay to the treasure yeah okay thanks carla thanks slp um all right sarah you're up next go for it sarah hi thanks so much for for doing this this is my first time it looks like people have been here a lot this week um, I actually had an easier question. Um, I've been writing a piece that's given me like a year of trouble. It was outlined and now I'm two pages from the end mm. and I've written myself into an insane corner, like no ending works at all. Um, I can normally write myself out of a corner about halfway through, but since I'm ending here, I don't, I have no idea how to proceed. Um, so has this ever happened to you? Also, and sure. um, how do you handle it? Time. It happens all the time. I cool. All the time. Awesome. But you know what? Just write the ending that doesn't work. Go ahead. Write it. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Fuck. Write it. You know what? You know, sometimes things don't work. Some marriages end in divorce. Not everybody lives happily. You know what? Write the ending that doesn't work. Oh, well, fuck. Right? The worst thing that's going to happen mm -hmm. is that you're going to have an ending that doesn't work for a little while. Yeah. You write it, you print it out. If you got a printer, you put it down, you put it in a folder, you put it aside, let it figure itself out. Come back to it in a week or so, read the whole thing through. Maybe there'll be a solution there for you, probably. Yeah, all right, that sounds good. Just go ahead, just finish it, you know. Hey, what can you do? Mm -hmm. right because yeah. if, because your alternative is to go all the way back to the beginning and try to figure out what went wrong you know what just write the wrong ending it's okay how many times do we write the wrong thing it's you know it's going to give you an opportunity to rewrite which you're going to need to do anyway right correct yeah yeah sure yeah we right we re rewrite a lot you know and it's okay if you get it if you don't get it right the first time or if it doesn't make any sense or if it feels awful I mean, you can even write in the, at the end, this ending is bullshit. I know it doesn't work. <laughs> Play, could you please figure yourself out while I put you in a folder and put you away for a couple of weeks? And then go outside, right. and find the first tree you can find and say, spirit, please help me figure out my play because I'm a hard worker and I am dedicated to my craft. All right, that sounds good. You know what I mean? Just, just, you, I'm just saying, I'm let it go fine. for a little bit. And it's okay, it's okay, you'll figure it out. Yeah. And okay. Next, Thank you so much. Synopsis by walking up and down the steps or whatever he did. Shit. So hey. Okay, you, you're gonna figure it out, Sarah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. You're welcome. Thanks, Sarah. Um, all right. We actually don't have any questions at the moment. We've got about three minutes left. Time for pause. Oh, oh no, two more. Or oh. yes, two more questions. Oh, 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 oh. Erica. You're up next. Hi, this is, um, thank you again for this. This is just like so wonderful to have a, a place to go every day. And I, I borrowed a, um, I'm in my friend's empty house, which makes it even oh, better. Cool. So I got to sneak over here and just be alone and escape my family, which <laughs> is like incredible. Um, I have been really, really struggling on the outlining, um, mm -hmm. but I've been taking your advice and going, like I have, I'm working on a long project for the first time. I've uh -huh. worked only on short stories before right. or um, academic writing, but oh. I'm actually trying to write a novel. So I am writing a novel, excuse me. <laughs> um, and uh, I have um, found it extremely helpful what you said about the, the signposts and not um, just thinking like, where are you going? And then fill in a few beats in between and, and all of that. And so I've gotten, um, I, before the person before, I was going to tell you that it's been really great because I've um, outlined the first 
um, the whole beginning and then the whole first half of the middle. And then the second half of the middle is kind of messy, but, and so it's less um, filled in, but there's like tent poles. And then the conclusion is kind of the same. It's like much looser, but I really finished the, the first two parts, I guess. Um, so I gave myself, I meant to have a whole draft of the whole thing done by my birthday, which I did not do, but I gave myself the treat of starting to write a little bit, <laughs> you know, going back and just trying to organize the things that I already had because I have maybe like a hundred pages and I was like, okay, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. And it was so kind of great to do that. And then having like an assignment based on my my outline. I can see what you were saying about the confidence and having that and being able to do that. Um, but I think I know the answer to what I'm going to ask you based on what you told the last person. Do I have to outline it in more detail the rest of it? Or can I just keep working on my with my nuggets and things and allow myself to write a little bit? Allow yourself to, you know, allow yourself to write a little bit. You've done a lot of outlining. It sounds like, sounds like you've got most of it. You've gotten yourself to an ending. Yeah. Now you're going to put the boat in the water and see if it floats. And if it doesn't, you'll figure it out along the way, how to make it work. Yeah. You know okay. what I mean? No worries. It, it's, you've done, you've done really well. Just remember your outline is really going to help you. It doesn't give you all the answers. It won't give you all the sights along the way. If you're driving from say New York to California, it's not gonna tell you everything that's gonna happen, right. but you kind of know where you're starting. You know, the people in the car, you know where you're going. They're driving to Texas. Okay, well, they even better. <laughs> even all better. Right. Wear your mask, uh, put your mask on. I know. As all a right. Texan, I say that to you, yeah. Okay? Yes, thank you, right. thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Erica. Well, it's six o'clock. All right. All right. Okay. Well, and it's Thursday. I think I keep thinking it's Wednesday, but it is Thursday. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, if you say so, I have no. It is, it is Thursday. It is Thursday. It is Thursday. Okay. So we'll all right. see you all next week. Our 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 links for next week will be released tomorrow on the Public Feeders website and on Hal Brown's website, and we will see you Monday to Thursday, five p.m. Eastern next week. Okay. We love Thanks. you. Have a good weekend. Okay. Bye. Bye.